What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan? Coming with another video. Hopefully everybody's doing great. And today what I want to talk about is respect. A lot of people lack respect. Everybody wanna 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 wants respect, but everybody lacks the ability to, to respect people. Now, where am I getting this from? There's a podcast, Hebrew Israelites. Um, I believe it's called Cross the Line Radio. Tahazarak, I believe, is the person's name. And I was watching a just like a a, a, a few seconds clip because um I can't watch that stuff anymore. Um, because it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. It it just doesn't make any sense. However, they had a clip where they were talking about Islam and and. That is a, a bastardized religion. I'm not I'm not in any type of religion, just to put it out there. But I do respect people's religion. If I go to a Christian person's house, they want me to pray, I'll pray with them. If I go to a Muslim's house, they want me to pray five times and take off my shoes at the front door, I'm going to take out my shoes in the front door. If I'm chilling with a Hebrew Israelites and, and I'm at their house, they, and they want me to do something to respect their religion as far as, same thing, take off my shoes or... Or study something, I'll do that. Buddhists, I'm going to respect and meditate with the Buddhists. Um, that's called respect of people's religion. No matter what you're going to do, you're, you're, you're not going to change somebody's ideology or what they think about their religion. If that religion is making them the best person in the world, who are you to say, oh, read this chapter and, and, and do this and do that? Where I'm, where I'm coming from is the books are old books that... Most people who study them are going to be hypocrites in their own religion because if they're going to live by the Bible, it's, it's, it's certain things in the Bible that, um, that you're not supposed to do and people do it anyways. Same thing in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the Quran, people do it anyways. So they had a clip where they were just degrading Islam and, and talking about Muhammad and he was a camel jockey and... And all this disrespectful stuff about the, the religion of Islam. I know they do that for shock value. But this is how I live my life. If I'm not going to say it to somebody's face, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not going to say it out in public or make a video or disrespect people on it. That's what you call respect. If you disagree with something, you disagree with something. You talk to them about it. Hey, this is what I don't like about this and that. But I'm not going to disrespect their prophet. I'm not going to diss Jesus. I'm not going to disrespect Muhammad. I'm not going to disrespect whoever, Buddha. I'm not going to respect anybody's um, prophet. I'm not going to do it. And that's what these people do. Dirty, disrespectful. I give you... I. I the reason why people can do that because we live in America and America we got more freedom than most countries and people can talk shit about things here in America when I, I'm 199, I'm 100% sure that if those cross the line dudes go to any Arab country talking about Islam like that or Muhammad like that, they'll get decapitated. Any of them, any of them. You might sound cool online, disrespect, disrespecting. You might sound um, like you're you you're a know-it-all. Even like I said, if you if you disagree with somebody's religion, if you disagree with somebody's ideologies, do it in a in a respectful way. But going online and disrespecting their prophet, this I'm a hundred percent sure they won't go to any Arab country disrespecting anybody, anybody. They won't, they, they won't do it because at the end of the day, Islam is one of the most ruthless religions out there. And just talking about and, and disrespecting Muhammad would be a, a most likely death case. And I know these cross the line dudes, these Israelites, they, um, they go, you know, they, you'll see them in the streets and disrespecting people. But I'm 100% sure they won't go to an Islam country disrespecting their prophet Muhammad. I'm, I'll, I'll offer them a million dollars for them to go to Afghanistan um, Iran, um, any country, and see what they do. Thank you for watching my video. Peace.